just another stitch. For those that don't know me, my name is Connie, and if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. Well, my Knitting Friday video is a day late, as you can probably tell. Um, what ended up happening was, yesterday I was supposed to get an echo done, and I also had to moderate on Crystal's live last night. Well, when it comes to my Echo, I actually ended up having to reschedule it because I was not feeling good yesterday morning and I was coughing a lot and I figured they weren't going to let me in the building with the, with the COVID screening. So I went ahead and rescheduled it. But like in the afternoon, I did start feeling a lot better compared to how I've been feeling the last couple of days. And I'm still not 100%, but... I am doing a lot better <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of prone to getting bronchitis type symptoms a lot um I think my allergies trigger things with me to some degree and I've been to an allergist I take allergy medicine on a daily basis and I also have a heart condition called diastolic dysfunction and I'm prone to retain fluids in my chest and I, I tend to have trouble with fluid retention and and like basically with di diastolic dysfunction oxygen and blood doesn't flow in my body like it, it does a normal person and like I said my cardiologist is having me getting echo done to make sure nothing has changed since my last echo and I have a feeling he'll be running more tests on, on me <laughs> so today I've been trying to get this video filmed and I thought I had it all filmed and whenever I went to edit it I don't know the lighting was horrible I, I, I don't I don't know what what went on I changed the setting and I opened my front door more so hopefully the lighting will be a lot better this time. I mean, I just, I looked really white in the video. <laughs> I mean, I'm very fair complected, but I looked whiter than usual. And, um, and then, then it was like the color kept shifting. So, I don't know, ho hopefully it's a lot better this time. And, I mean, I just got my channel... The, um, at the end of last year right before I started my channel so I hope my, my camera isn't trying to go out on me <laughs> I won't be happy if it does <laughs> so anyway I want to show y'all the progress that I've made on the shawl that I've been working on and let's see and this is the progress of it and it's kind of hard to show the whole shawl when it's connected to the circular needles. And that's one thing I do want to point out for those that are new to knitting. Um, when it comes to knitting, you really do need the circular knitting needles. Because any big project you do, like shawls or blankets you will need the circular needles so it can hold all the stitches. So, I just wanted to point that out. And the um, shawl, I am knitting it with the Lion Brand Date Night Yarn, the Sparkly, and this is Malachite. And I love this yarn. I think it's so gorgeous. So, anyway, that's the progress on my shawl. And I wanted to update y'all when it comes to my alien hat pattern, I still need to get this pattern written up. I'm, I'm going to really try to get that done this week. And then I will find some testers and get it tested. Um, I know two of the, the ones that will probably be testing it are currently working on testing my patriotic scarf pattern that, I, that I'm, I've been working on. So, it may take a little while for this to get uploaded to my Ravelry shop, but it is coming. So, I have a picture I want to show you that Angela W. submitted. It's her very first knitted beanie. 
and I'm so proud of her. She did an awesome job. And well, let's just check it out. Didn't Angela do an awesome job? And if you have started working on your first knitted hat, please let me know in the comments below. And of course, I'm also curious, what is everyone currently knitting? So let me know that too in the comments. And I'm also curious, has anyone started trying to learn how to knit? Because I do highly encourage everyone to try to start learning how to knit. I think y'all will really enjoy it once y'all get into it. And yes, at first, it will be awkward when you're learning to knit and you're going to struggle with slip stitches. Everyone struggles with them. It just takes practice and the more experience you get, the better it gets. And and I, I, really, I really think that if you start knitting, you'll enjoy it. So, let me know about your knitting journey in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. And I want to remind everybody that I will be going live Monday at 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. And on Monday, I will be by myself. So I decided I am going to do my Wheel of Fortune game again. And for those that played last time, we all had a good time and enjoyed playing the game. And if you haven't, I think you're really going to enjoy this game. And what I'm going to do for the prize for the winner, I will let you pick one of these two patterns. Um, this is my crochet Easter plaid beanie that's done in the waistcoat stitch. You can either pick this pattern if you win, or my pink lemonade plaid um, knitted beanie. So you can either pick that. And... Even though I'm not finished with my patriotic scarf uh, being tested, if you would be interested in that pattern, you could also choose that pattern. Um, just keep in mind, it's still in the testing phases. I did have one, per one of my testers finish, and she didn't have any problems with the pattern. But if you would choose that pattern and you would come into any questions or problems, just contact me and I would help you with it. And, and I would also give you the updated pattern once it's finished. If you would, you know, if you would need that. So, um, yeah, come play Wheel of Fortune Monday. <laughs> and then Wednesday, I'll be going live at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And Crystal with the Yorny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady will be going live with me. And I think I got her name right. I don't know. I don't have it down in front of me. And normally I have to read it because I'll mix up which order the words in her name goes. But I think I got it right this time. <laughs> and then on Saturday, I'll go live at 1 p.m. Central Time. And um, Daniel with Paw Ply Yarn will be going live with me. So y'all look forward to those lives and I hope y'all can make it. Guess what? I got some happy mail in the mail the other day and it's from Laura Lee B. Um, it's a, she sent me a thank you cord. A while back she had won a giveaway from me. And this is the cord that she sent me. And the cord says, Hi Connie, just wanted to thank you for the Amazon cord. I actually put it toward a set of clover hooks. I couldn't find these cords, so I'm so late late thanking you. Love your channel. Keep up the great yarny fun, Lorley. Aw, thank you so much, Lorley. That was so sweet of you. And I hope you are enjoying your clover hooks that you got with the gift cord. news today. Well, Allie and Sophie got them a treat in the last few days. 
and periodically I like to buy them the wet cat food and they love it which I think just about any cat loves the wet cat food and like whenever you go to open that can I mean they just start meowing all excited and as y'all know Allie doesn't meow that much so I always think it's so sweet when she meows especially when she's excited and but then the other day I felt so bad because I was going to open a can of jalapenos and Allie heard that popping noise and she thought it was wet food and here she is starts meowing and I felt so bad but today when we go do our grocery shopping we're going to get them some more wet food to eat so they'll be happy again and that's about all that's really been going on with Allie. Um, Sophie, Frank picked her up the other day and was holding her and she just curled up on him and it was sweet. But they really haven't gotten into much. They spend a lot of their time sleeping. They love to sleep. Um, they're not little, they're not young cats no more. And I really miss, I really miss what, you know, whenever they used to be, be, you know, whenever they used to be all playful and getting into everything, but my babies are growing up. <laughs> well, I think that's all I have for y'all today, and I want to thank y'all so much for watching my video, and I really appreciate that y'all watch my videos. Thank y'all so much, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video, give it a thumbs up, and please share my videos on your social media platforms. Please help to get the word out about my channel. I'd really appreciate what you can do to spread the word about my channel. So, I hope everyone has a fabulous yarny day. Be the light, and bye!